When we rewrite fractions as decimal, what happens when we don't get a zero as a remainder? For instance, two-thirds. What happens when we get an answer that just keeps going and going and going? In this lesson, you will learn to rewrite fractions as repeating decimals by using long division. Let's review. Rational numbers can be written as a ratio of A over B, where B cannot be zero. A common mistake. On a calculator, what happens is when we divide fractions into decimals, the calculator eventually will stop, and at the end of the number, it rounds it. And so in this case, we get 0 0.66666, and we have a 7 on the end of the number. And students will think that that 7 is where the number stopped, and that's not the case. The number keeps repeating what has happened as a calculator has stopped because it ran out of spaces, and rounded the number up to 7. Another misconception is that 2 thirds equals 0.6666 and since it's non-terminating we assume that it's not a rational number and that's not true. 2 thirds repeats its 0.6666 and if a number repeats it's considered to be rational still. 1 third. 1 divided by 3. 3 does not go into 1, so we start the long division process. 0, we add a decimal point. Decimal point goes straight up in our answer. And 3 goes into 10. We have a remainder of 1. And so we add a 0. 0 comes down. 3 goes into 10. We have a remainder of 1. Add another 0. 0 comes down. 3 goes into 10. We have a remainder of 1. And at this point, we start to see the pattern develop. We have a remainder of 1, and we keep adding zeros. And so we end up with a problem, 10 divided by 3, and it just keeps repeating and repeating. This answer is going to go on forever. So 1 divided by 3 is 0 0.333 repeating. 1 third is equal to 0 0.3 repeating. 7 over 11. 7 elevens. 7 divided by 11. So we start the long division process. 11 does not go into 7, so we add a 0. Decimal point goes straight up in our answer. 11 goes into 70 six times, leaves it with a remainder of 4. We add a 0. 0 comes down. 11 goes into 40 three times. We subtract, and we get a remainder of 7. We add a 0. 0 comes down in our answer. 11 goes into 70 six times and we get a remainder of 4. And at this point we're starting to see that we get a remainder of 4 and a remainder of 7 and they're alternating. The first time we got the remainder 4 and then we tried to divide into 40 we got a remainder of 7 and then we tried to divide into 70 which is where we started. We got a remainder of 4. So this pattern is going to continue and so we're going to get 0 0.6363 63 for our answer. 7 divided by 11 is equal to 0 0.636363 repeating. 7 elevenths is the decimal 0 0.63 repeating. In this lesson, you've learned to rewrite fractions as repeating decimals by using long division.